For decades, university authorities appear helpless in controlling violent student clashes, particularly amongst traditional halls. These violent acts have often been blamed on hall traditions grounded in previous rivalry. On August 6th last year, clashes between students of Commonwealth Hall, Vandals, and Mesa Sabah Hall, Vikings, and a similar event on August 18th between students University Hall, Katanga, and Unity Hall, Kunti, were seen as a moment for the university authorities to act. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology implemented that much fought against policy of converting the two rival halls, which were male halls, and later turned into mixed halls. The University of Ghana, though yet to make a concrete policy in relation to the August 6th violence, has introduced a new accommodation policy regarded as a move to break the front of the Commonwealth and Mensa Sabah Hall. The policy has since enraged current and past university students who have described it as a subtle approach to breaking hall tradition and student front. At the moment, you have people who enter the hall with the expectation that they are going to pay 1500 a year for residence. Even that I tell you some of them are struggling to pay. And now all, all of a sudden, midway, they, they tell you that you cannot come to the hall. We are going to post you to um, a, hall, a different hall where you have to pay over 4,000 pounds. That is more than, that's like four times what they are paying now. So more or less, that means the boys, many of them will have to end their education. Old vandals in their numbers gathered at their old hall to express their displeasure about the accommodation policy for the association. This is the university's strategy to weaken student activism on campus and condemned the approach. Read Article 296, the use of discretionary powers. And it says that at any moment, if any authority wants to exercise discretionary powers, it must not be capricious. The decision they have taken is capricious because it didn't take into cognizance due process of the law. They also demanded a release of the report on the investigation conducted on the clash between the two halls. Management of the university recently revoked the tenancy of continuing students of the Commonwealth and Mensa Saba Hall. In a related development, the University of Ghana management has reiterated the ban of all students gathering and events. Students can only hold permitted functions on the campus after a written approval from the Vice-Chancellor, Registrar or their representatives.